Always remember, if you're not happy single, then you won't be happy taken. Happiness comes from actually understanding how Merge Sort works with this divide and conquer approach. Merge Sort delivers O of N lock N time complexity by breaking down problems into recursive subparts and building them back up. Here's how it works. In Python, recursively divide your array in half until each subarray has just one element. These single elements are naturally sorted. Then comes the merge phase. Combine two sorted subarrays by comparing the first elements, taking the smaller one, and repeating over and over again until both arrays are merged into one sorted array. The key is in the merge step. With two pointers tracking the positions in each subarray, we can merge in O of n time. Since we divide log n times and merge n elements at each level, we end up getting O of n log n time complexity. Space complexity is O of n for the temporary arrays during merging. Unlike quicksort or insertion sort's O of n squared time complexity, merge sort guarantees O of n log n even on already sorted data. It's also stable. Equal elements maintain their relative order. This powers external sorting for massive data sets, parallel processing systems, and linkless sorting where random access is expensive. So the interesting thing is Python's built-in sort actually uses Tim sort, a hybrid that combines merge sort stability with insertion sort's efficiency on small arrays. So if you want an explanation for that, follow for more data structures and algorithms.